hello <laughs> and welcome to the start of like a whatever part building series i would just be describing how to build and what you can do with different builds so right now uh i'm just gonna make a basic house so you can just make these types of house patterns windows that's a little more you'll need to practice a bit for that um so you can hit this part button to create this block and first off what i recommend is going into model and just clicking these off because if you have them on you'll notice it'll be very like you can only move it a certain way and same with the rotating or well it depends because if you only have it if you have it on like 20 degrees or rotate like you can only move it so much if you click those off you can rotate it freely however much you want and you can scale it enlarge however much you want as well very easy so we're gonna hit uh, the part button and go to view make sure you have the explorer and properties tab both open these two on the left is your explorer shows all your parts everything in your kind of world space and your properties tab which is like what that part you have selected can do all the properties it has so we're just gonna make a nice like base to our house and this house will make it so you can walk into it so we're gonna have this we're gonna kind of move it down a little bit so it's kind of a small base and you what I like to do is just kind of like scale it a bit into the map so you just make sure it's completely like kind of in the map makes it a lot like nicer and we're just gonna make a wooden house so you're gonna hit material and you're gonna hit this arrow you're gonna scroll all the way down to wood planks and you can make it whatever color you want by hitting brick color or this this just makes you have this color palette or mixer thing and this just makes you have a select you can a colors you can select from and I'm just gonna make it a lighthouse so I'm gonna make it this as the base burlap and so we got our base down and you always want to make sure your parts are anchored anchoring will make sure that when you come in game they don't fall over or just like break apart basically so we always want to anchor them and to duplicate a part you're going to press ctrl d and that will make a duplicate of the part so now we have a duplicate and ctrl z to undo or this button right here so we're going to scale it a bit this way and we're gonna make it a little bit like that and if you hold control while scaling it'll allow you to scale both sides at once so they're even so i'm gonna do that and then bring this a little more over bring this a little up and i'm gonna recolor it to like a a brighter color so like of that we can bring this up a bit more And once again, we're going to duplicate Control D. We're going to slide that over. Well, actually, we're going to duplicate this. We're going to bring it like this. And just like that to kind of create an opening. And what I like to do on builds is create a little corner for the house, like this black part where the walls come in. So we're gonna duplicate this, bring this a little bit out, scale it this way, and then scale a little up. And then you can recolor it to whatever color you want. I normally do like a darker color, it looks nicer. We're gonna do that. And 
we're going to duplicate again, or copy and paste, whatever you want. We're going to bring this over. And then we're going to just grab both of these. By You can select multiple parts by hitting Control. And then you can duplicate them all with Control D. And we're just going to try to make sure it's as even as possible. That looks pretty even. And we're going to make it a little bit bigger for the doorway. We're going to duplicate this part and kind of shift it across. So now we have kind of a doorway, a basic doorway. And you can always test it out uh, as you're building just to make sure uh, everything is being correct. And we're just going to grab these two parts and duplicate them. Bring them over here. A little bit further. Ah, I see. This part is like that. So, uh, some parts, as you can see, if they are like duplicated right on top of each other, they'll have this like glitchy kind of effect to them, and it just doesn't look good. So you just scale one part a little shorter than the other to avoid that. And we're just going to duplicate it like this. Bring it over. And now we kind of got our exterior done besides the windows. I'm going to do the windows a bit later. So for the roof, I'm going gra to duplicate this part. Bring it up a little, like that. Make it all the way across, kind of in line with this part over here, as much as you possibly can get it aligned. Bring it across here, same way. And you can make your roof any color. But as you can see, when you go inside, it's just pitch dark. So to avoid that, you see, we'll come over to the properties tab and you see this cast shadow you just click the check and it's gone so what the shadow is it's just the shadow of the part this being a roof it creates a shadow inside so you just avoid that by doing that and it's light um, and then you can recolor I normally do like the same color as these sides. So this was court. So I'm gonna come here, find court, which is right here. And actually, I'm gonna align this roof with the edge parts right here. So I'm gonna hold control so it does it to each side. So that made it even, like this side, kind of, not really, because they weren't even to begin with. So I'm gonna just don't hold control on the other one and fail at scaling like that and I'm going to scale this one I'm not going to hold control just in case and finish it up with this one now we have kind of a roof and what I normally do is either I'll move it up like that or I'll move it if it's too, if it's like this, I'll move it down. But in that case, I'm gonna just move it up like this. And of course, you can always just like duplicate this and make this kind of your floor. Make whatever pattern you want. It really doesn't matter. I'll just have that as my floor, I guess. And now we're going to go back to this part. We're going to hit the arrow. And we're going to hit wedge. The wedge is basically a triangle. And to rotate parts, you don't always have to do this and rotate it. Uh, you can just hit Control-R, and that'll make a perfect 90-degree rotate. 
So I'm going to rotate it to this side because I'm going to make this roof going this way. And I normally have it a little bit in from the roof on each side. And now that with that's done, we're just going to bring it about when you think it's the midway point. So I think that's about midway. And I'm going to scale it up a bit to make kind of a uh, angle for the roof. And I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to hit Control R twice to make a 180 turn. And as you can see, it's not perfectly like uh, in the middle because there's a this part sticking up but it is aligned on the sides for the most part so to fix this we just take one of this one of these parts and we'll just move it a bit like that and I'll move the other side a bit like that too so then it's kind of even and now we're like oh this is just a gray brick so let's select both of them by pressing control change the material to plastic or to wood planks we let's i always make the roof the same color as the base so cashmere so we're going to select both of them and try to find cashmere there it is and as you can see, oh wait, we got these shadows again. Well, that's from these two wedges. So we'll select them both and hit cast shadow to avoid the roof being dark. So now let's create another block on top of the roof. And what's cool about this is once you create a block, it will appear like straight, like as you could create a block anywhere. But as soon as you grab the block with your mouse and move it onto a part, a other part, it will automatically angle itself to align with it. So now we just gotta scale it a bit out from the wedge, from the roof, and a bit down. And we just move it up to the middle kind of where this bottom part reaches the middle kind of and we just scale the other part like this and we get another part do the same thing on the other side but this time we have to try to align these so they look connected so if I do that it looks like it's not really connected so we're going to make this one a bit further from the gap, take the other part we had, bring up it a little bit, and it should look pretty aligned. Bring this part a little down, this part up, and now it's basically aligned. And now we just got to kind of grab it and scale it to be even. To make sure it's even, you'll see this blue, like highlight you'll see it kind of like over the other one and it'll look the same and then for the bottom you just kind of got to look at it from the angle get it as best as you can and then align it with the other side but then again shadows so we got to select both of them and turn off cast shadow and I'm gonna just make it wood planks you can make your roof whatever you want but i'm gonna just make it the same as these parts so it was cork so i'm gonna make it cork too so there we go we got a nice roof you can always add a chimney and other designs but this is just a basic house so i'm not going to go crazy on details now for a better doorway we can select this part and we can duplicate it and move it over and we're gonna put uh, grab the scale button the scale is basically a resize button so we're gonna grab this scale it down or resize it down 
grab this side. And if the scaling, like these bubbles things, are like not visible, they'll appear as like these squared, colored squares. And it's the same thing, you can just grab them and move them. So we're going to make it like that. We're going to duplicate, shift it over there. And we got to make sure that, like this, they're glitching on the inside. So I'm going to grab this. And normally with scaling, you don't want to grab every single part. So I don't want to select all these. Because if I try to scale it just one way, it'll shrink it. So you just got to do each part individually. So I'm going to scale this one that way. Align this one with that. What I mean when it's aligned is you'll see this blue highlight right here. When you're holding this, this will appear. It means it's aligned. And that, like that. Now we just got to duplicate it again, this part. Scale it upwards, just to right about there, and then scale it across. Just make sure it at least reaches there. And there we got a basic doorway. Now for windows, I'm not going to make a window like these for houses you can't enter. Since this house you can enter, I'm going to make a see-through window, but a very basic one. So we're going to get a part. We're going to grab it along this wall. We're going to scale it. Grab this, scale it through the wall, come back to the outside, and just make the window size however you want. I'll just make it a, like this size. And you're going to right click and press this negate button, or you can press Control Shift N. So once you have it, once it's a negative part, you're going to have it selected and select this wall that it's going through with control. You'll just grab that. You're going to right click again and you're going to press union. Now what this did was the negative part basically uh, subtracted whatever it was touching on that wall so that made it a hole through this wall and to make this hole a bit more detailed or the window we're gonna yeah we're gonna turn the hole into a window so well actually to undo a union I'll show this first to undo a union you're gonna grab the union part you're gonna right click and you're gonna hit separate and that will undo it. It will turn back into a normal part with a negative part. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to duplicate the negative part and just move it aside for now. So we're going to select this and select this part and just right click and union them again. We're going to grab this part, duplicate, bring it like that, and scale it down so it's like a border of a window. I'm going to make it black plastic, just so it's a kind of smooth window. We're going to duplicate it, bring it over there, duplicate again, scale it, bring it like that, and then grab this part and duplicate it again, and bring it across. Make that a little smaller. So now we have the outline of a window, but we don't have the actual window part. So we're going to duplicate this. We're going to make this a bit small. And we're going to bring it like this. We'll make it a bit smaller. Or, like, shorter in width. And I am going to make it a kind of nice pastel blue. And you might be wondering, but I can't see inside of this window. I can't see the outside. And you're, and we're going to solve that right now. We're going to go over to Properties tab. 
and we're going to hit transparency. Transparency basically makes any part see-through. As you can see, as I slide the transparency bar, it becomes see-through. If you go full transparency, the, uh, the part becomes invisible. So we're going to make it like uh, 0.5 transparency. So then when we walk inside, it will be a window right there. And this house might be a bit big, but that's okay. And so we're going to grab these, all of these parts. Just control and grab all of them, even the window. And we're going to right click and click group. And you can right click on the model in the explorer tab, rename it to windows, or just window. And there we go, we have a group of parts called window. So next, we're going to grab our negative part and move it all the way over to the other wall. And we're going to, once again, duplicate this and we'll move it this way this time. So like we did the other side, we're going to select both parts, right click, union. And this time, instead of creating a new window, we're going to duplicate the whole group of window the group called window and we're just going to move it into place so now we got another window on the other side that looks exactly the same and if you want to eliminate all shadows in your house you can uh, just make the whole house not have cast shadow on but I like having some shadow it adds more like details to the house. So we're going to rotate this part so it's the same width as the other windows. We're going to move it like that. And I'm actually going to duplicate this again and move it over here. Move it a little this way. And we don't need this negative part anymore, so I'm going to select both. And I'm going to select the wall. So both negative parts and the wall, and that will create two openings in that wall. And we'll duplicate the window. We'll shift it over to the open hole. And now we have a house with some windows. It's very, very basic. Uh, and so you can just look around at it. I normally just for a last final check, I'll grab the house itself, uh, itself, and I'll make sure it's all anchored. To make sure everything's anchored, you just press this, and if everything is anchored, it'll have this black black uh, black background to the anchor button that says everything is anchored. So I'm going to hit play, and I'll wait for me to load in. Hap that's what happens when your house is not anchored. Everything will split apart, break apart, and just fall. But since our house is anchored, we get a nice view. We go through our little door. And get a nice view of the broken house next door. And that is basically a quick tutorial on how to make a basic house in Roblox Studio.